my name is Evelina and I um, want a very red color in my hair. Yeah, and stay long. Yes. But we have to get rid of a lot of <laughs> split ends, dead hair. Yes. We will make a wonderful layered hairstyle and a wonderful red color. Will you turn so you can see how your hair is now and how long it is? It's a bit greenish at the ends. <laughs> What's wrong about me? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> okay, let's start with you. Hello friends on YouTube. Got me a model again. Now, you hear what she wants. She wants a nice fire red color. But we get also rid of the ends. So I'll make a layered hairstyle. We'll do the cut with uh, the hot razor. And of course, we'll be looking stunning. I'm certain of that. Don't use an egg paper, but I'll use uh, a toilet uh, <laughs> mat. <laughs> no, but we call it that because on the toilet, all women also have something like this. To, and then with a, a, a fabric on it that they don't get uh, cold feet, but uh, this is a, a rubber thing. Start with wetting the hair, looking how wonderful the ends are. Using on the ends a little bit conditional spray. It's a product of, uh, it's a milk of uh, Glint. It's much nicer to work with the hair as a leaf in, so it doesn't stay on the hairs in the sin that it, uh, the color cannot get, not, not get in. Take my uh, favorite uh, imitation Olivia Garden brush, comes from China. Next video, I'll certainly show you the new finger brushes of Olivia Garden. Ball.com. Can you breathe? Amazon. Amazon. No, I don't think I'm on Amazon. This is what you find on Amazon. But on Ball.com, you find Olivia Garden brushes. They are about uh, 18 till 90 euros. The wonderful thing of the brushes is that it massages the head and it will certainly uh, get rid of the knots without hurting. So especially for young children who don't want to brush their hairs, it's wonderful. What I mostly tell to my customers is use for everyone uh, our own brush because the watch at the hair how long it is. So we know where to go. First I start in the neckline. Making myself a baseline, then I do by turning her and then start an analyze. Part hair over the center line, onto the skull bone, bring it to the side. Do this with chopsticks. You just ask them you're Chinese, get them for free. Just don't take them. They're mostly friendly people. So they give you the sticks while you're eating there. My sister is hot. Just start in the baseline. Watch where the dry ends are. Go in and get rid of them. The nice thing is that I get a nice flowing line afterwards. They'll certainly get rid of the greenest parts of the hairs. Take a new line on it. It's about one and a half centimeter. It's less than an inch. In the under I see also some waving. So I know that it jumps up a bit, but that's nice because it's uh, in the midsection of her hair. So there will be a lot of movement. You can see this also, the waves. Wetting in between is very important because the tool is hot. 
and I need something to support the heat into the hairs and to seal the ends. Wat is wat? Ja, gewoon. Alles. Dat is wat. Alles is wat. Het leven. Ja, het leven. Dat is wel wat. Hè? Ja, zeker. Turbulent. So now you can see that the condition of the hair is much, much better. You see nice how it glows. So now you can... Before I go to the front, I think I take away a little bit of the upper hair. Take a little bit of the front on the line on the back, just to have the length. So now I part the left right part to the right and the left part to the left, so I have the length to work on. So now I've come to the front. Wet the hair. Know where my length is from the back. Take the hairs over. Take the hairs over from the left side to the right. Watch at the skull, go in where the dry parts are. And connect the lines to get better fold pairs and also layering because every layer will be connected to this line. Also get rid of all the dry ends. Free this part. Go back to right side. Nu ben je daar ik wil het Ja, nu ook. Oké. Take the hairs over. Find me the guide from the other side. Watch again at her beautiful skull. Go in and go down. Take the hairs over again. Every time take a part of the back with it. So I'm sure that they get some layering. Now I'm going to wet it again, stay wetting, <laughs> turn a bit to me, I go stand in the center line, watch at the baseline, connecting all the hairs to the front. Take the part of the back with it. So now I work from the center line, but I first have to get rid of the dry ends that lay on the front. And I have to find me a guide to work on.
you saw it, the back slipping out of my fingers. So now I know that I'm on the right length. Go to the other side. Do the same. Work to the cat and the underlines. You saw the hair slipping from our fingers. Throw the hairs to the back. Wetting again. Oh, already you see the condition of the hair is getting much better. Twist the hair to the center. And get rid of the last dry parts. And on the back, I work all the hairs to the front. So I can see the line where I'm working on. You can feel the difference in condition of hair, but also the layer on the back will be wonderful then. Show you that also from the side. So take the part that falls over the hairs and over the rounding of the scalp. Take this to the front. Work to look at on the line where I made my cut. It's around here. Twist the hairs. You see there's still a part of dry on the part. So I go in there. And this way I get a nice playable layered hairstyle. So now I'm certain that I have got rid of all the dry ends. A wonderful hair again. Feels also wonderful. Get with my fingers through the hairs and not get stuck. So now I can make a color. Okay, putting on protection. Now I have a towel that's uh, specially made for coloring, so you don't have too much towel into the sink. And it lays nicely over the necklines. Take the hairs up, clip them away. Give color protection, of course. So, what's resistant cape? Put on my gloves, on protection, especially when I use the devil's red. It's a 5 slash 666, so I don't think God will be pleased with it, but I think God will also love the devil. I think they are friends. The devil was once an angel. Yeah, or he still is, in a certain way. <laughs> Bad people have to go somewhere, so... <laughs> It's also a protection system. So I start in the neckline. You see this already into the bowl. That's a real reddish red. Show a photo of the product into the video. Start applying in the neckline. Put in a step uh, one of the glint protection system. So I stay having a wonderful condition of hair. Use it just with uh, uh, 20 volume, 6%. Ammonia free, parbena free. Don't have smell. So I apply all the red on my hair. Massage it in with my fingers. And when all the color is in, use the comb. And comb the hairs. So I'm certain that I have my color everywhere.
So now I have all the color on my hair. Take out my clots. Close the plastic foil. Wait for 25 minutes without heat. And I will back to show the end result and the styling of hair. Don't go away. We certainly are not going away. Bye. Hello, we're back. Rinse it out after 25 minutes. In the sink, of course. You see the hair is red. What I use now is an elastic curl spray. Spray this on the hairs. You certainly will see because we use step one and two. There's more curly effect in the hairs. On top of that I lay a, a conditioner spray. It's the milk again. Massages into the hairs. And I use an uh, ultra large uh, blow dryer with a diffuser to blow dry the hairs because I don't want a stiff hairstyle. I want to just have fun with this. So I have this large diffuser, in the Netherlands you can buy kin. I start blow drying, of course. The nice thing of this diffuser is that the pins are soft and don't hurt the skin. Like a warm man diffuser. Is al warm genoeg? Ja, de knop wel. Ja. Dan moet je de vuur vasthangen aan het plafond of zo, dan zou je dat kunnen doen. Op zo'n beugeltje of zo. Jij altijd mee hier, denk je? Hè? Jij altijd mee hier, denk je? Ja, als je zo'n gereedschap hebt tegen het plafond, dan kun je hem gewoon hangen. Dat is leuk. Dan heb je twee handen vrij om met je haar te spelen. Terwijl dat ding gewoon je hangt, weet je, je doet er een spiegel voor hangen. En je kijkt gewoon naar je haar en ondertussen droog je het gewoon. Maar het wordt vanzelf ook droog. Ja, daar wacht ik wel op. <laughs> ja. Tijd zat. Helaas wel. De <laughs> sofa blood drying. So never lay it back on the pins because then they get uh, banded. Now I want uh, a nice uh, protection product on it, but also a wonderful smell and glow. So I use a diamond gloss of glint. Very good, huh? Eh? Oh, heerlijk. Van your snoepjes. Yeah, it's bloemenolie. These are a natural curl, so when you get the right products into the hairs, especially the step one and two, you get more power into the curly hair. And it brings out also the curls, because she has lovely rough hair. Now, this is a new haircut, and of course new color. Take out the cape. I thank you for watching, I thank her for being my model. We see each other in the next video and she will certainly turn around to show the end result. Yeah, mooi is ja. Echt super lekker. Oh yeah. Stuur, hè? Ja. Thank you, Theo. Oh, het is wild omhoog. Het is echt, voor jou is dat wild haar echt leuk. Het is echt super stuur. Oh yeah. Ja. Tiger weer. <laughs> Red Tiger. Dank je wel, schat. Uh, hello, my name is Evelina and I um, want a very red color in my hair. Yeah, and stay long. Yes. But we have to get rid of a lot of <laughs> split ends, the dead hair. Yes. We will make a wonderful layered hairstyle and a wonderful red color. Will you turn so that you can see how your hair is now and how long it is?
it's a bit greenish at the end. <laughs> What's wrong about me? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> okay, let's start with you.